Although, I'm not used to having a reception like this. Everybody forgets how unpopular I was in the good old days. <laughs> Remember the poll that showed that 96% of the people in New Jersey knew who I was and 4% thought I was doing a good job. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is a nicer climate. Now, somebody asked me at the cocktail, what's the best, in 50 years, what's the best line you ever heard? At a uh, legislative correspondence show. And I think the best line was, was a few years ago when a horse called Hudson County finished second in the Kentucky Derby. Anybody remember that? And Joe, Joe Sullivan, the Hudson County guy explained that he was supposed to finish second. Uh, anyway, uh, I still like that. I still like. It. People ask me when I'm, when I'm. I mean, Lomberg went for his nap. Uh, people ask me what I am doing these days and the truth is uh, I'm doing absolutely nothing <laughs> and I don't start doing it until 11 o'clock <laughs> in the morning but it's uh, but it's nice it's nice that, uh, you know I still regard myself as a product of of Hudson County and I still say that I want to be buried in Hudson County so I can remain active in politics. Uh, I, just, I just like Hudson County. Hudson County says it all for me. Yeah. You know, a Hudson County politician is a guy who is born poor but honest and spends a lifetime overcoming those handicaps. <laughs> I, I, I've been worried a little bit, I've been worried a little bit that Monmouth County is trying to surpass <laughs> Hudson County, but it, it just can't, it's not the same. I mean, Joe Azzolino brought me from his store two boxes of Fig Newtons tonight. That's, that's his big league. As, Can you imagine that somebody in, in Monmouth County sending somebody to the funeral parlor to see if Paul Byrne is really dead? Because it doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Incidentally, I am not, was not related to Paul Byrne. No, not even by check. And the Hudson County story would not work in Monmouth County. Please, Mr. Christie here, uh, go back to Hudson County. It's, it's, it's more fun. I mean, can you imagine? You've all heard the story that Dick Hughes used to tell about Barney Doyle, who was no hanger on and always looking for a job. And they finally, Hughes gave him a job as superintendent of weights and measures. And at the press conference, they asked him, Barney, how many ounces in a pound? And he said, give me a break, I just got this job. <laughs> Not... <laughs> Not... <laughs> can, can you imagine trying to make that joke work in Mom County? <laughs> No. Lifeguards, nah. Uh, well, uh, but, but frankly, Hudson County is changing. They, they're, they're adopting business methods, becoming professional, 
and using business techniques. Now, businessmen have deferred compensation. Hudson County has deferred compensation. <laughs> Call it why you will. It's deferred compensation. Regret or not. Uh, but, and, and Hudson County is becoming more open. I mean, there's no secrets anymore. They've added, they've got an attitude of open government in Hudson County. Everything is not, they're not hiding anything. I think the mayor of Jersey City took it a little too far. Uh, when he stepped out on the front porch, but there we go. So anyway. So Ruthie and I are just hanging around. We don't do anything any, anymore. We listen to you guys. But Don Payne told me a great story about, about how to have a perfect marriage. When you're married 25 years, you take her to Hawaii. And when you're married 50 years, you go down and pick her up. Anyway, uh, I'm, uh, I've been coming for these for 50 years, and you know, frankly, this is a great group. This is a group of people who are in the arena. These are people, some, some years you come here, it's all Democrats, some years it's all Republicans, and we get wiped out and we come back. And, and, and there's something fun about that, and there's something that gets you involved.